Ufuk was getting impatient to take his notebook and get to his desk. Tonight, he wasn't going to have difficulties. The story was already set in his mind. As he got a hold of his notebook, his determined footsteps were getting closer to the desk. All Ufuk needed were a pen, a notebook, and a quiet place. His book was about to be the witness of yet another mysterious story. He had a mental picture of his day and started writing. For his history class's project, Ufuk needed to make a museum trip, which sounded boring. However, things were about to change. His teacher suggested the Top Copy Palace for the trip, but he was not interested in it. With the lively weather outside, he couldn't focus. It didn't feel like a good idea, but I don't have any other options, he thought. After calling the tour guide from the meetup, he assumed that it was quite a serious person due to his voice on the call. What do I need during the tour? 60 bucks and it's still not easy enough. That money should cover the transportation and an entrance fee. While waiting, during the stops, he saw an ad of his favorite game, which now had a new edition. I wonder if there are any new heroes in it, he thought. He had three hours before the tour, so he fell into dreaming about the one on the subway. He said, what if I were a knight in this new one? At that very moment, he heard a monstrous sound and saw people screaming while running away. It was a huge wyvern with a destroyer fire and was the strongest in its species. Even the lions and the most powerful players could not beat it. However, Ufuk seemed to be confident. Hey, you lizard looking ugly creature. It's time to end all the chaos you brought. Who are you to gamble with your life? Your self-confidence is a problem. Thunderstrike! No matter how powerful his attack was, Ufu could not penetrate the wyvern's golden shield. The wyvern used his poisonous tail to tackle Ufu off. I underestimated your power this time. I will bring an end to this now. Uh, what is happening to me? With the magical power of the sword, the wyvern turns into dust. Haha, <laughs> okay guys, don't exaggerate. It wasn't that big of a deal. People start gathering to see what happened and cherish the news while chanting Ufuk's name. Ufuk was deep into his thoughts, but now with the sounds at the subway stop, he wakes and manages to get off a second before the doors close. I better stop dreaming this much. As going up on the escalator, the guy calls him, but he doesn't answer him since the call from his mind to play this new game was much more appealing to him. While convincing his mind with, I still got enough time, or rather than paying for extra food, I can get this game. He only could think about getting the new game before anybody else. The guy stood up in the entrance waiting for Ufuk. Why should I go to a museum when I can do this? The game center looked really attractive to him and he tumbled down to the control of the consoles. He simply loses control as challenging other people in the center. Then he goes on with his favorite virtual reality game, the one he desired to play. He gets stunned by the reality and quality of it. His head was directly affected by the game. Just as he peeks in this unbelievable game, the guide calls again. Hey Ufuk, our time's getting closer. Are you coming? Ha, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty close to the area. I will be there in 10 minutes. 